On today's tutorial, we learn how to set up voice meter to have ultimate control over your audio. Let's take a look! Heyo! I'm Andy Lippy and welcome to StreamAid, the show that gives you all the best streaming tips that the pros want to keep a secret. Most importantly, there's no self-promotion. I'm here to teach, not to preach, but if you do want to know, all my info's below. Let's get on with the show. Right, so our goal in this tutorial is to set up voice meter, which allow us to have different levels in our headphones to what's playing on stream. Really useful if playing all them like stealthy games, stuff like that. You could turn up the game volume, but your music can still be heard on stream. Which, to be honest, most people enjoy listening to music rather than listening to the game audio. But first off, we want to head over to this website that I've got open here. This is vbaudio.com. This is where you're going to get all the software that you're going to need today. We're going to be downloading Voice Meter. So if we head on over and press on Audio Apps, just here, and open up, you'll see Voice Meter, you'll see Banana, and you'll see Potato. We actually want Potato, it's about as good as my aim, if I'm totally honest. The reason why I use Potato is it just gives you more inputs and outputs. If you look at Banana, there's less, there's only three hardware inputs, but if you go over to Potato, there's five. So it kind of just future-proofs yourself a little bit there, so I definitely do recommend that. And then we also want to get the virtual audio cable, which is just here as well. All these links are going to be below, and I'll just put the download link so it makes it really quick for you to get. You can only get one cable for free, but if you do want to get more control over your stream, which I definitely highly recommend, if you press VB cable just here, you'll be able to see you can have up to four different audio cables. All this will make sense just a little bit later on, but this is actually the donation where I actually paid. It was just five five dollars. I only got A and B, but I think I'm going to get C and D as well. But like I say, they're, they're five dollars each, so if you do want to get the maximum control over your audio, you definitely want to pick them up. There we go. Once you got them all downloaded, you want to do the... Standard install, you know, spam the next button, next, 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 get them all installed, make sure you do restart your computer because you run into loads of issues if you don't, just with it changing quite a lot of your raw audio. Once you've got it restarted, open up Voice Meter Potato and you'll be greeted with a screen that looks a little bit like this. I've got mine just set up now, which is what I want you to do because you'll see here it'll have hardware input 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. What I want you to do is just take a step back, think of all the different audio things that you've got on your stream. So for me, I've got my microphone, I've got my game audio, so from my Elgato capture card or what I'm playing on my desktop. I've got my web browser, which I use for my music requests and everything like that. I've also got communication, which I'll probably use for Discord or whatever the chat channel I'm using at that time. With a, I don't actually use a hardware input 5, so that one's empty. So once you've done that, what we need to do is go up here and you'll see A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. These are your hardware output. So I want you to select your main output. So for me, that is the focus right, because I'm using an audio interface. Uh, I'm using um, a condenser microphone, because I do a lot of music stuff. Uh, apologies for the dog barking there. Postman is here. Uh, wonderful. But I want you to select whichever one you can use primarily, so your headphones probably. So mine, mine's focused right, because my headphones plug into that. I also want you to select another output as well, if you use something else, so for instance speakers. Because sometimes I like to just listen to my stuff back through my speakers. There we go. And basically these A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 all correlate to these. You see the A1s to A5, A1 to A5 again on every single channel. So for instance, my microphone here, I'm going to A1, which means it will go to the main output, which is Focusrite. So that will be my headphones. Um, if I selected A2, that will output to my speakers, because I set that up for A2, and so on. So right now, even though I'm talking, you're not seeing any levels through my microphone. That's because I need to select an input. So I click on the input. And what I want to do, I mainly use WDM because that always usually works. I get the best kind of sound from that, less latency. But do fiddle around with these because sometimes I know voices might go a little bit robotic or something like that. 
but just change it from WDM to MME and usually that fixes it. Sometimes there's a little bit more delay, but you can mess about with your delay settings inside of OBS. So if your music's a little bit behind what you're say singing, because everyone loves to sing live on stream, right? You can get that all matched up nice and easy. Now we've got the microphone set up, we need to start working on the different audios that you've got available. So I want to set my game slash desktop up next. So I want to change the input device. This is where we've got the different cables that I talked about earlier. So I've done the donation where for, for another set of cables. So I've got three different cables that I can use. I want you to imagine that these cables are like planes from an airport. So a load of passengers in one airport, but they all want to go to different places. That is basically what we're going to do with the sound. We're going to send it off to different locations so we, we can easily manage the audio. So I'm going to put game and desktop onto cable output. So that's the first one set up. I'm going to go across to web browser. I'm going to put that on a different cable. So I'm going to call that cable A. Notice that I'm using the WDMs. Like I say, that's the best one. I find it works best for me. Some of these different ones like MME will work different for you. And I'm going to put the communication down on cable B. Just like that. So I've set up cable output, cable A output, and cable B output. That is all you need to do inside of Voice Meet Potato right now. Next up, we need to open up the sound settings. So go to system preferences, settings, whatever it is. Sorry, I'm mainly a Mac user. And then we want to change the output device to a cable input. Just like so. Nice and easy. Change your input device to whatever you use for your microphone. So for me, again, it's the focus right. Mine can get so complicated because everything is run through the focus right. So my inputs are always focus right this, focus right that. Honestly, it blows my mind sometimes. The next little thing we need to do is go to advanced sound options and click on app volume and device preferences. This is a cool little feature that's already built into Windows. It's all the different apps that you've got open. You can change what output you want to use um, sound wise for each one. You can also change the input. So for Discord, make sure you've got Discord open. We want to change the output to cable B. And we also want to get Google Chrome and change the output to cable A. Because if you remember, web browser is on cable A or whichever browser you're using. You don't have to use Google Chrome, obviously. And the communication tab we've got on cable B. Once that's done, you might hear a couple of pops and clicks. But if you go on to Google now, play some music you should be able to hear that in the video but you'll see I can turn it up and down just here for myself so this will not be affecting what you can hear right now but that's changing how loud it is for me and that's exactly the same now with the communication bit inside of discord just make sure you change your input to cable B done and it's exactly the same with the game and the desktop because we changed our default desktop audio to cable output if I start making some error noises or something like that it will come through on this channel just here right now we've set up voice meter potato we need to actually mirror all of the settings that we've got in there into OBS as well so first things first jump into the file go to settings and just hit audio and disable everything in the devices section here just disable everything because we want manual control over all your audio devices and once that's done we need to hit the plus on whichever source that you're using audio input capture create a new you'll have to call it microphone i've already got the microphone just there so i can hit add and click that there and we need to also make one for your web browser audio so again you'll hit plus audio input capture Call it your web browser audio. I'm going to add mine here, Chrome Audio. And it'll look something like this. You remember, we set up your web browser on cable A. So press cable A. Oops. There we go. And hit OK. And that will come through just on there like so. Once more again, we're going to add audio outputs. This time we're going to do the comms audio and also the game and desktop. So same again. Create a new call it comms audio set that up onto cable b and also final time audio output again 
and this time call it game and desktop audio and it'll look a little bit like that call that cable input because remember we had that unnamed cable we're going to use that for your desktop once you got that i'm just going to turn studio mode off so you can see it'll look a little bit like this you'll have all the different audio just there that's it it's all set up so if i play something now in chrome you would see i can control how loud you can hear that music now turn it right down but that doesn't change my levels because in audio i can change how loud i have it just there that makes sense if it sounds a little bit robotic like mine kind of did then remember just jump into your settings change from wdm just here change from wdm down to mme just keep tinkering with that until it stops sounding a bit robotic and then it's all done sound easy as that so there you have it that is exactly how to set up a voice meter potato dead simple to do dead easy once you kind of get your head around it. it took me a little while at first but as soon as that's all done it's plain sailing from there i'm going to do a couple of other tutorials to get more advanced on top of that so maybe make your microphone sound a little bit clearer all that kind of stuff but stay tuned for that if you do want to know more about that just hit subscribe all that jazz like the video if you did if you've got any questions hit me up below or come on over to the twitch stream and we can chat there i always reply to as many comments as i can right until next time guys put your rock for the stone see you soon